What's up guys, Michael here. Today I'm coming to you with another video. This time I'm doing an update on how to remove DRM protection on books. Um, in this uh, example we'll be doing uh, purchased books from Amazon uh, without having a Kindle device. So that's another exception but I'm just doing an update to one of the older videos of mine. So let's get started with this now this video will probably be a little bit longer around 10 15 minutes I assume but again if you follow the steps you should be able to remove the DRM uh, protection from your books and convert it to any other format that you'd like so let's get started I have uh, all the steps written down so I will also post them in the description but we'll start with the first step so you have to download certain application so I'm just gonna be following the steps as we go so you have to download the Calibre and the latest version so if you go on Google Chrome and search for Calibre you will see the download page you can download it on Windows Mac OS Linux we're using Windows today so I just downloaded it and installed it. I'm not going to be explaining the installation process. I hope you can do this yourself just to save a little bit of time. Now that's one of the applications. Another application would be Kindle for PC. Now important to note uh, is that the version has to be below 1.25. So 1.24 seems to be the best. The reason is that the KFX files that are downloaded will be um, allowing us or these files will be appropriate for the uh, the plugin that we're going to be using on Calibre. The newer versions unfortunately the DRM protection wouldn't be removed uh, if you have a newer version of Kindle for PC. So you have to download this one. If you just search on Google, you can see a lot of different options available. I've already installed Kindle for PC, so I have it here. And if you go to help and about Kindle, you can see the version 1.24.3. The rest doesn't matter. 1.24, that's the main thing. So that's the second thing. You also have to download the DR, DDRM tools, okay? It's a, it's a zipped file. Uh, that will allow us, it's uh, basically a plugin for Calibre to uh, decrypt and, and remove that protection from our files. So I've downloaded all three. So we have the Calibre plugin and Kindle for PC. I've already installed Kindle for, for PC. I also installed Calibre, so you can um, see it up here. So that's how it looks. And I downloaded our plugins now these plugins will have if you open it you will see a lot of different files so the best thing is to extract that zipped file so extract it to the folder because otherwise it's gonna be messy so we have all that and we'd be looking at this DDRM Calibre plugin that's what we're looking at don't extract this file okay the zipped file we will keep it the way it is so Let's go to the next one. So install application. So I assume you guys installed those successfully. So the next step would be for Kindle for PC. We have to go to settings and we make sure to uncheck uh, the updates. Otherwise on the next launch of Kindle for PC, the application will update and you're, gone, you're not gonna be able to um, remove the protection on those files anymore. So how do we do this? We basically go to tools, options, and then you can see this automatically install updates when they're available. Now this was ticked and by default it is ticked. So we'll have to remove that and click on save to remove it. Now I've already done that. So that's done. Next step, Cali oh, we will have to go to Calibre application and install the DRM plugin um, so don't input any special settings so let's see how it goes so we go to Calibre and what you have to go to is preferences so if I try to sneak in here preferences at the bottom here in advanced section you see plugins so we click on that we can also click on show only user installed plugins 
and we have to load plugin from file okay so this is the spot here load plugins from file and now we have to search for our downloaded um, Calibre plugin. So we go to that unzipped folder and then we'll see Calibre plugin and then we have our zipped file. This is completely fine, ddrm underscore plugin. Let's go for it. So let's open that. So again, we're getting the notice that it's our risk. Um, could be virus or malware, but again, this plugin and I will and in the description I will provide you with the link on where to download that so don't worry totally safe let's click on yes it's successfully installed however we have to reinstall or reopen close and open really Calibre application so let's click on apply close we'll close Calibre all together all together and I will just click on Calibre again and reopen it now it's starting up, so that step is considered done. So we have done step three and step four. So we're ready to really remove uh, the DRM protection, okay? So now I will purchase a book from Amazon and send it to our Kindle for PC. So that's the next step. So let's have a look. So I already prepared a book that I'd like to download. Um, so I click on Kindle edition and I will just buy now and I will also choose to download it to my Kindle for PC so it's gonna be straight away going to my Kindle for PC if you don't choose this option that's okay you can later on send it and force it to be sent to Kindle for PC so I'm just gonna click on buy now and that's done and I'm just gonna go back and we're gonna open my Kindle for PC. And if I refresh, that should bring our book and it is downloading here. So you can see our book is downloaded. So it is in the downloaded folder. Uh, I specifically removed all my other books so it doesn't kind of mix up with the others and you can clearly see it. If I open it, we can view it through the, uh, through the Kindle for PC and I could start reading, but obviously that's not why we are here. So I have it download, downloaded. So by default, um, this content is downloaded in this folder here, okay? So we're gonna go there and try to see if we can find that file and that's the next step. So locate our KFX file in default destination folder. You can change that folder, but um, for the sake of the video, we're, we're sticking to the same one. So it's documents, my Kindle content, and you can see the book here. This is the book. You can see the time stamp, it is the same. And now the name of the folder, it doesn't make sense, okay? This name of the folder. Um, so if you have multiple books on your Kindle for PC, you may end up with a lot of Kind of folders called this way and it will be hard to note which one is the book that you've just purchased or downloaded or that you want to convert so this but the best way is to either delete all the books and just stick with downloading one by one or you can sort them by date modified and just when you download it just notice the timestamp and just look for the most the most latest uh, folder that has been created so I'm opening this and we're looking for that Kindle content this is our book here okay now what we'll do we will simply drag it and drop it to our Calibre so that's the next step let's have a look drag and drop the above KFX file into the Calibre it should be able to open it so normally without the plugin it would give you an error message that basically there is a DRM protection so let's have a look I will drag it and drop it to Calibre and it's processing so it may take a, a moment depending on your PC and you can see straight away that it's showing me um, 
the main cover, uh, the size, the format, KFX, and if I didn't have uh, the plugin installed, I wouldn't have this. It would be uh, an error message, or if I try to open it, it would give me an error message that there is a DRM protection. Um, however, because we've used the right applications uh, and the right file, we are able to remove that DRM protection. So I can start reading that book. Now, the final step is really just to convert that book to whatever format that you'd like, okay? And I will just quickly run through this. Now my PC doesn't seem to be that fast, so apologies for that. I'll just close that and just show you how to convert it. So basically you can right click on your book, convert books, convert individually, and then you can see, you can change title, authors. Usually everything should be perfect. However, you can modify it a little bit. So we have our input format KFX. So that's the file that we've dragged and dropped. And I can move it to Mobi, EPUB, PDF, whatever format you want. So for the sake of the video, I will move it to, or convert it, sorry, to Mobi. Now, in terms of the settings here, I usually don't change anything. I just scroll to the bottom of that list. And for Mobi output, I usually select or tick the option to not add any table of contents. Okay, the book itself usually have the table of contents. So I don't need that. So once I'm happy with that, um, with the settings, uh, which again, you can go through and maybe modify it a little bit. I click OK and the job is being done in background. And now with probably you'd have a better PC, so that would take just seconds. For my laptop, it takes a minute probably, or more, depending on the size of the book. But that's about it, guys. All the steps are done and we've successfully converted that book. Uh, now, I hope that really helped you. If you have any comments or questions, put them down below. Um, for supporting this channel, I'd really recommend if you could subscribe or give it a thumbs up.